So our third race from Punchestown on day two is the Punchestown Champion Hurdle. Where David Hooley has won the last couple of runnings of this. Here we're looking to make it a three-timer as we wait for the car. So it's over two miles as we know. So it's Vinnie Gerrard with El Villar Speedstar. Darren Thompson's ex-adventure. David Hooley's first battle. Jim Murray's Fault of the Future. Daniel French's Pen and Ink. Leon Van Rensburg's Volcanic Impact. David Hooley's first up. Craig Beckwith's Gem Thief. Darren Thompson's Porto and Joshua Sutherland's Tilts at Windmills make up 10 to go over the champion hurdle here, two miles. The rain has started to come down here at Punchestown. Starters race the flag and they're racing. Those racing down to the first of only eight flights they'll have to take here. We'll get to it pretty much together, bar X adventure, which is just a length or so. So we'll caught for tow from the start here. And the one that's going to go on is El Villar Speedster. So El Villar Speedster needs from a bunch of hold-up horses. Like Pordo tilts it with Mills first up and fought of the future out wide. They follow through by pen and ink. So a bit wider first battle. Gem Thief. X Adventure and Volcanic Impact. Villar Speedster, showing he has got speed, gets to the second, gets over it well, to jump in second by first up, which moves himself into second, from forward the future a little bit wide, Pordo tilts at windmills between horses, then first battle and volcanic impact, penning widest of all, the next adventure towards the route, and Gem Thief, in between those horses, his volcanic impact would jump that well, jumped himself into the chasing pack. But it's El Villar Speedster that still leads, but just by a couple now to first up who's taking the hold. And then Pordo fought with the future and tilts at windmills together. And length or so back to first battle and next adventure as they get to the fourth. So half the flight's done. They're all over it. Slow jump at the rear by pen and ink for Daniel French. Puts him into that tail end Charlie position, but he's got the route. And he's moved back up. Demoted extra venture and first battle into that position. Bell, Villar, Speedster, trying to make every post a winning one. <coughs> Leads by a couple, but uh, being closed down all the time by Pordo now. So El Villar, Speedster, just a length advantage from Pordo. Then we've got first up and tilts at windmills and Gem Thief. These five are in a line as they go over the fifth. They all clear it. Slow jump at the rear by Fault of the Future. Jim Murray's National Hunt Horses be ridden along a little bit of the back to keep with the pack, but it's El Villar Speedster now being headed by Pordo. Up on the wide outside is Tilts at Windmills as they come down to the six, so three from home, they all get over it. El Villar Speedster was a little bit better than the rest, so Pordo in second, Tilts at Windmills, Gem Thief's got no running room. First up on the row, starting to off the bridle now, make up the room, but the other one is first battle out wide, hasn't asked for anything. Volcanic Impact, for the future, X Adventure, got a lot to do, Pen and Ink trying to make up some ground, but it's El Villar Speedster, takes it back up again inside the final half. El Villar Speedster from Pordo tilts at windmills. Gem Thief first up in first battle, still trying to run on. He's over the seventh. He's taking it well, and it's still El, El Villar Speedster with just one to take and just over two and a half furlongs to run. He's got a three length advantage from Pordo tilts at windmills. Gem Thief still with no racing room. First up and first battle. Then an ink running on volcanic impact. But El Villar Speedster's got the run on them all here. Leads by a couple. He's coming back to them now as he starts to tire inside the final furlong and a half. El Villar Speedster's going to get taken by Pordo as we come down to the last. It's Pordo now that leads from Gem Thief who's got some racing room. First up and first battle on the outside. Half a furlong left to run. They're over the last and it's Pordo that's going to hold off first battle and first first up and Gem Thief. Pordo takes it. Pordo takes it for Darren Thompson. Also stops David Hoody's last couple of wins. Punchestown champion hurdle goes to Pordo for Darren Thompson. Two David Holy horses just a length or so behind. First up was second. Gem Thief was third for Craig Beckwith. First battle was fourth for David Holy and Pen and Ink run on really well there to get up for, for fifth, being a six-year-old for Daniel French.